All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel. We are checking out a, uh, a tactical bag today from VanQuest Gear. This is the Racket 36. Uh, and the, really, the only way that I could think to do this uh, video was to just do a tabletop review because there's just a lot of things that I don't think could be readily addressed with all the gunfire and everything going on. So I thought uh, we'd, we'd sit back here and, uh, and just have a chill moment to, uh, to talk about uh, this awesome piece of kit from Vanquist Gear. As I mentioned, this is the Racket 36. This is uh, marketed as a subdued tactical bag. It's designed for that purpose to not look like a rifle case. This is a rifle case. It's designed to house a any uh, long gun that is 36 inches in length, which is exactly this dimension here and it does it really well. It, it fits long guns pretty comfortably for that purpose. However, the internal features that we'll get to in a second keep it from sliding around a whole lot. So, uh, but before we do that, uh, let's take a look at the exterior of the bag. I do believe that these, that these straps here may disappear. From, from speaking of VanQuest, they say that there's potentially no need for this elastic band here that uh, basically weaves through here. However, I think it adds to the sporty look of it, and I don't necessarily have a problem with it. And when I'm going to the range, if the bag is totally loaded down, uh, sometimes I'll stick some extra magazines in there. Also, where the elastic pieces are threaded through, these are uh, double-stitched spaces here that you could potentially attach pouches to uh, for, for quick, quick acquisition if you, if you wanted to. So, um, that's the top half of the bag. On the exterior, uh, this is their Wolf Gray. It's also offered in a coyote tan, uh, and obviously uh, countered with black. The interior of, the, of this particular bag is coyote tan. Uh, however, I do have word that the interior will be offered in uh, Wolf Gray as well. So the Wolf Gray color, I really like the Wolf Gray color because it's uh, it doesn't scream tactical. Like it doesn't scream out as much as coyote tan does. Uh, that it might be a bag that you're carrying something, you know, other than sports gear. <laughs> so this is really, uh, before we crack it open, I just wanted to say that uh, I've been carrying this thing around for about two months and it really fits my lifestyle well because, um, if, well, if you guys follow on Instagram or Facebook or anything like that, you guys know that I spend a considerable amount of time uh, on fitness and at the gym and stuff like that. I'm on the go a lot. And, uh, Carrying around a sporty looking bag helps me carry because uh, while I may not carry a rifle into places a lot of times, uh, a sportier looking bag like this or, or the Skitch 15 allows me to uh, carry a, a firearm uh, when I'm wearing, you know, gym shorts and stuff like that. Then, to tell you the truth, my attire looks like this in my free time quite a bit. This is literally how I look a lot of the time when I'm not on the range. So that said, why don't we go ahead and crack open this front pouch and talk about it for a minute. I have it completely loaded down with as much stuff as I could possibly fit in there. And I don't actually know what all is in there uh, because uh, I packed this before I left the range last time. Uh, so let's see in here. I have uh, just about every supplement that I take. Uh, so we'll just get that stuff out of there. A couple magazines, spare magazines, phone charger, another magazine. And as you guys can see, there is Velcro interior in here for attachment of any Velcro based pouches. Now that said, VanQuest does also offer a panel that's about this large that has molly webbing on it and is designed to attach to any uh, fuzzy side Velcro like this. Also, more Velcro up here for like magazine pouches or anything like that. So these, this is an option that gives you a little bit of versatility with their, with their systems that does not uh, include molly webbing if you don't want it. To include molly webbing, they have several pouches that interface directly with uh, with the Velcro, and those are things that uh, that you guys should definitely check out. They're good. They're high quality stuff. I have a couple of them. They're just all on the Skitch 15 right now. Uh, however, 
uh, I find this very useful and uh, I will be getting multiple pouches to fit inside this and over here. Uh, this does have a zipper pouch in here internally and just to illustrate uh, how much space this this pocket has I slammed a <laughs> a Bostic Brad nailer in here just for shits and giggles uh, to show you guys how much space is in there. So obviously very very deep goes all the way down in there and quite easily fits three magazines, no problem, and folds flat. So now that we've had a chance to look at the absolute massive space inside this accessory pouch on the front of this bag, well, we're going to go ahead and flip the bag over and see what's on the reflexive side here because there's a lot of features on the back here that I want to touch on. First off, you can see the this huge shoulder strap. I have it set up for right shoulder carrier right now. and uh, But you can see that it has a spare strap here and down here on the other side for uh, left shoulder carry or you can even configure it for uh, to not be a cross draw uh, strap. You could easily set this up to go straight down and have it a tighter a tighter fit there. Uh, the buckles Vanquest buckles, you can see that uh, their logos all over them, high quality buckles there. Uh, attachment spaces here for any accessories that you're looking to integrate uh, directly onto the strap, right there, maybe a cell phone case or something like that. This thing is fully adjustable, both on this section and this section down here, obviously. And if you so desire, it is removable. Uh, all you have to do to do that is pull these two tabs here and as you can see this opens up another storage compartment in addition to the the attachment point for this uh, the strap here we pull this velcro open and you can see you have another storage space in here with all kinds of velcro this is simply just velcroed on there and you can see here this is for flat folding items like for instance you can see in here that I have my cache wallet from Vanquest, and it fits in there pretty easily. It's very secure in there. You don't have to worry about it flying around. This whole top half is sealed with Velcro, except for the space where the strap actually comes out, and nothing's going through there. Speaking of straps, if we look at this, it has four straps: one on either side, and one on uh, top and bottom. And what's really nice about this thing is, uh, no matter what the orientation in your vehicle this bag is. Uh, you have an access point. You can basically reach around completely blind, find a find a handle, be able to pull it out. They're all, of course, double stitched. Really, really nice uh, pads on there. Uh, very, very easy to use. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with the with that. Um, additionally, if we come down to this end of the bag, we can see that we have a lumbar support strap that I have to stowed away. In there as well. Uh, once again, another high quality VanQuest buckle there, and uh, of course, fully adjustable on both sides. Uh, if you're taking off running or hiking up a, uh, a mountain or a hill or something like that, and you need to, uh, excuse me, you need to a little bit more support on that. This uh, this pouch back here that uh, actually hides the the buckle when it's not in use is uh, doubled up, it's a it's a lumbar support so that this isn't beating up your back too bad. Uh, if we go in here, you can see that this is of course, fully removable and you could easily stow it. Um, there, this is fuzz Velcro and the, and, the, and the teeth are on the back side of this thing right here. So you could very easily unclip that, pull the whole thing out, stow it in the bag if you so desired. I like to keep it on there in case I need it, uh, in case I'm like hiking up a hill or something like that. Go ahead and get this just folded up, stowed right back down in there. Okay, so now that we've had an opportunity to look at the back half of the bag here, we're gonna go ahead and go inside of this thing uh, real quick. And before we do, I wanted to highlight that these things are awesome. These uh, zipper attachments, I wish that uh, Vanquish just sold these and I could just put these on every single bag that I have. I would just buy like a million of them, put them on all my bags because these things are a godsend. 
They're like a, a rubberized uh, loop that basically just goes into your standard zipper and it makes opening this up super easy. I would like to see that integrated here, but if it cost saves uh, on the bag, uh, I can totally see uh, the integration of Paragord here a little bit more, uh, a little bit more cost effective for uh, the the sites that you're not going to use as often as the main bag main bag compartment like this, and then of course back here on the uh, the strap uh, retaining uh, pouch. So uh, if we pull on this here, you can see the bag completely opens all the way up, and you can even use this, and I have used it as this as a uh, shooting mat. It's, it's, it's really, really easy to do. So if we, uh, if we kind of venture in here, you guys can see that I have a loaded 30 round magazine in this, uh, in this 16 inch carbine. So 16 inch barrel, you know, you guys have seen this multiple times. You guys know how you guys have a reference point on how big this gun is. You can see that it fits just very comfortably in here. And it even has a longer flash hider on it. We go ahead and and, uh, and remove it from the bag here. Uh, we can see that it has the Phantom on it. So it's a little bit longer of a gun. What's nice about this is it's versatile enough that the attachment system for, or the retention system for the rifle inside is easily moved for different types of guns. As long as the gun is under 36 inches in length, it will easily fit inside this bag. If we look at this, we'll come back to that in a second. If we look at this, this is uh, your length adjustment. This thing also helps uh, obscure your muzzle from poking through the bag. Sometimes if you have a standard rifle case, sometimes a tight fit rifle will poke through the outer fabric and will print onto the exterior of the case, uh, making it look like there could be something like a rifle in there. If I were to put something shorter in, shorter in, then I just pull this off. You can see it has Velcro here, Velcro here. I can move it shorter if I have something that's like a little bit shorter of a gun that I want to, you know, put in this bag. So if I had like, say this uh, 12 gauge here, and I wanted to integrate it for length, I just put it in right like that. And then very easily you can cinch down that bag or or cinch that down or if I wanted to release them to make them larger. Very, very simple. These things can be obviously rolled up. They have their own keepers on them, which is really nice. Uh, again, you know, from everything we've seen from Vanquist, very well thought out bag. The interior of the bag, as you can see, is uh, another subdued color uh, and it is contrasted with the wolf gray so these lighter colors are nice because if I open this thing up it's uh, it's it's highly visible inside there and that that helps out a bit what's a little bit different about this thing is it's actually designed to be open rapidly if you so desire you can see here on the corners we have these straps here and what these are designed to do is they can go on either side here and if I find my strap here, if I'm wearing this, this can stick out and be an avenue for me to open the bag should I desire. Uh, but as you can see, that allows you to access it quickly if you so desire. Uh, going back inside, you can see that these straps, if you desire to, uh, could be very easily woven out of here and moved to a different location if you desire. So this thing is made uh, out of Cordura, you know, really, really high quality material. I like it a lot. Uh, it, it's put up with my abuses for about two months now. It's been kicking ass all over the range and it's not had any had any issues with it thus far and it's holding up and you got as you guys know uh, we don't take it easy 
on gear at BSO. So it's nice to know that I've got something I can rely on for my firearms. Now, I don't care about this uh, because I beat the crap out of all my guns anyway, uh, but this has a reasonable amount of padding on it to uh, protect your firearms should you be bouncing around the back of the truck with it or something like that. This is gonna be all right for those protection. It's not gonna be as good as like a hard case, but it's also a little bit more versatile than a hard case. If you go walking into Walmart with a hard case or down the street with a hard case, somebody might you know, stop you, might suspect that you have something in there. And really that's not too big of a deal in my area per se. I have walked in downtown Columbus with this thing, was not stopped once, never even thought uh, by anybody that I might have. Uh, a full-size rifle in this particular bag but for somebody like Wombat for instance who lives near a school it might be good to for instance have a bag like this to, as to not alarm the neighbors or if you live in an area where you don't want your neighbors to see you carrying in and out rifle cases that makes you a target so something that looks like a sports bag that you're carrying around with you all the time perhaps will be a little bit more subdued and not get you cased by somebody who's looking to, to pick off some easy guns. So again guys, this is a look at the Racket 36 bag from Banquest Gear. Uh, I have heard word that they are gonna be developing a shorter version uh, that may even look a little bit more like a skateboard case uh, for like your SBRs or even your AR-15 pistols if that's something that you're looking for. Uh, to, to, to carry around in a bag like this. Uh, I really like this thing, and what's really awesome about Vanquist gear, I've talked with you know the, the personnel there at, at length, is they are committed to always pushing their gear to the next level, which is something that you don't see out of a lot of tactical nylon uh, companies these days. They're always looking for suggestions, common sense suggestions, to influence their future designs. So. If you've got ideas, leave them in the comment section of this video, and uh, Vanquist will obviously be roaming the comments, uh, you know, looking around for any suggestions that you guys have uh, to improve their products and any products that you guys see us uh, us post up about uh, on the VSO Gun Channel. So that said, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out Vanquist gear. Links in the description, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Because remember, we've been the fit. And scratch the finish so that you guys don't have to. Thanks for checking us out, guys, and thanks for checking out the Racket 36 from Vanquest.